Welcome to this 2K Sports presentation of the WNBA. We'll watch the Washington Mystics in this one as they go up against the Phoenix Mercury. Coming from the Valley, Phoenix, Arizona, I'm Blake Sunio with our analyst Tim Schwartz and Ryan Vanifatemi, and we're ready to roll. And each of these teams boasting a veteran roster. What's the value of experience in this league? It's huge. I mean, frankly, it is very rare to see a young, inexperienced team win consistently at this level. Yeah, even developing teams can benefit from those sage veterans, helping to coach up the newcomers and kind of show them the ropes. About a career 30% three-point shooter, Sykes isn't the player you normally expect to knock down a tray. Here's Atkins. Leaps for it. Great D that time from Natasha Cloud. Tarasi outside. Copper outside. Allen. Count that one. Give an assist there, uh, not for a pass, but for the solid screen set on the inside that freed her up and really just made that layup possible. Now here is Sykes. Pass to Samuelson. Off target from outside. You can tell she thought that triple was going to fall. She's just shaking her head after that miss. So Rossi with it. Washington now foul. guarded by Sykes. And the whistle blows. First it's going to be on Sykes. First. That is first her first team foul of the game. Here's Tarasi. Pass to Allen. Just five to shoot. The basket good off the assist from Diana Tarasi. Yeah, that's a high IQ pass by Tarasi to the wide open shooter. She's got a great sense of where to send the ball. Outside Atkins. She can't get that one. Diana Tarasi with some really nice D. The 10-footer shoots and misses. 0 for 1 to begin the game. Pass to Sykes. Now Atkins. The rebound by Brittany Griner. On the wing, Rebecca Allen. She's guarded by Sykes. Here's the Mystics with the ball. Trailing by two. Here's Samuelson. She's covered by Cloud. Ariel Atkins on the wing. She's just scored her there first basket goes. with that shot, making her one for four. First quarter of basketball, just over two and a half minutes played so far. Here's Copper. That's no good. Misses her first shot of the night. Pass to Sykes. 
And it's Phoenix with the rebound. Cloud with it. Copper guarded by Dolson. And the basket by Copper. Great off-ball movement by Copper. Getting around the defense and making herself an option. Now Sykes. Fires from 14. And she buries that one. Drilling the rim on the way down. Sykes. First quarter of play and just over three and a half minutes in. Pass to Cloud. Reiner. On the wing, Kalia Copper. Guarded by Dolson. Here's Allen. No good on the three. And here's Washington. Outside Atkins. Now Austin. She is guarded by Griner, and it's Austin missing. Pass to Allen. And here's Griner. Off target from three point range. To the middle. Samuelson. She's covered by Copper. A capable distributor. Adkins is able to see the big picture within the game. Cloud outside. Now here's Tarasi, defended by Adkins. Cloud outside. Offensive rebound on Mercury. Hits it and gets hacked. Shots good. That's a three-point play opportunity. A matchup nightmare for many defenders in this league. Griner's a creative offensive talent. Well, the dominance of Brittany Griner around the rim is really astonishing. She's just a force inside. She's got size and she's got plenty of power. There's not many players who can stand up to her. So a lot of times she just the has lanes. her way in Mind the paint. The One shot. Around the league, not just some great athletes, but a few great broadcasters as well. And I'm definitely not referring to you two. Come on, Blake. But uh, seriously, Chinea Gumake does an outstanding job covering the NBA. I mean, we've seen her play a WNBA game, then later on the same day, analyze an NBA playoff game when those seasons overlap. Just incredible. She is really, really good. And so is Candace Parker. She's got an incredible basketball mind and does a great job of breaking it down for fans. Dare I say, the next door is Burke. Now here is Sykes. Pass to Samuelson. Takes the three. And the three ball is good. This is just unselfish basketball at its finest. You just know that Sykes' teammates appreciate her willingness to share the wealth. Tarasi with it. Defended by Atkins. And the basket by Tarasi. You know, it doesn't matter that she's one of the slower players on the floor when she gets that wide open of a lane to the rim. Here's Samuelson. And so she draws the foul on the shot. Uh, trips to the line to shoot two. Personal foul, team's first. That's on Natasha Cloud. And first trip to the free throw line At for her line in this the one. Team, Carly Samuelson. She makes the first. And the Mystics making a change here. And that one falls, so she hits both of them. Now Sutton. Tarasi outside. Three-pointer. Good on 
a triple. Fluid, confident, and overall reliable in catch-and-shoot situations. That's part of what makes Tarasi an offensive juggernaut. Here's Melbourne. Pass to Samuelson. From the arc. They grab their own miss. Heinz Allen. Good. Heinz Allen. That's how you pick up second chance points. Stay active and be ready to react as soon as the shot goes up. And here's Sutton. And counted. Two points with a chance for one more at the line. Second person. With an incredible motor, Griner plays with the attitude of someone just trying to make the team, not the all-world superstar he is. Find the lane. Find the lane. One shot. A remarkable free throw shooter for her position. Griner is certainly not the big you want to send to the line. Washington calls timeout. And now your Phoenix Mercury answers. Washington trailing. Here's Melbourne. Pass to Walker Kimbrough. Heinz Allen. Here's Samuelson. And again, it's Washington converting. Wide open look. And props to Heinz Allen for locating the open teammate using her GPS. Tarasi outside. Here's Birch, covered by Heinz Allen. And the basket is good, and he got it to go through the contact. So a free throw coming up, opportunity for a three-point play. All right, here's a question for you two. What type of skill do you think has become undervalued in today's game? Ball handling. We're seeing so many players who can shoot these days, but the real difference makers are the ones with a tight handle. And I'll go with rebounding. To finish a defensive possession, you have to secure the board. And offensively, you can extend bad possessions with O boards. Now, Melbourne. to Heinz Allen. Dolson with it. Melbourne. Now here's Heinz Allen. And that one good. What focus, what body control. Heinz Allen with an impressive hoop. Phoenix leading. And here's Sutton. No scoring yet from her, but that's likely to change. And here's Birch, covered by Heinz Allen. Here's Griner. An easy two points on the layup. The plan worked perfectly that possession. Get it inside. Get the high percentage shot. 
to the left wing. Here's Richards. She's covered by Cunningham. Six on the shot clock. Pass to Heinz Allen. Uses the glass to finish the layup. There's a reason why we see so much pick and roll in this league. Players like Heinz Allen, they're tough to guard in it. Tarasi outside. To the paint. Cunningham. The basket good off the assist from Diana Tarasi. Well, not just a perimeter threat. Cunningham is also dangerous on the interior. Here's Melbourne. Outside, Heinz Allen. Pass to Walker Kimbrough. With her first shot attempt. And there's the whistle. That goes on Dolson. That's her first foul. First personal foul. Team's first. Fourth team foul. And so here is Phoenix, leading by five. Pass to Tarasi. There's the triple. Rebounded by the Mystics. And if they time it right, they can end this quarter with a little two for one. And that's how you really want to end a quarter. Now here's Walker Kimbrough. She's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Brittany Griner with a defensive effort. The D was ready for her that time, and they had to be. She is strong in the paint. Birch, good. good. She's been able to find her open teammate every trip down the floor. I mean, it sure has seemed like it, right? I mean, great day passing the rock for her. Pass to Heinz Allen. She knocks it down, but wait a minute. The officials are getting together, and they may want to review this one. And indeed, they're going to look at it again. Uh, they need to be certain she beat the buzzer here. The replay center delivering the footage, and guys, it sure looked like that left maybe a moment too late. Yeah, this one's pretty cut and dry. I don't think there's much question about it. She didn't get it off in time, and I think the officials will agree. And they've seen enough. The, the basket will not count. The quarter has come to an end yeah, before the shot. It's yeah, still the important score. to have a second look at it. The technology is available, so you've got to utilize the it. Team. The basket's coming early and often in the first quarter. It's the Mercury. They lead by seven. And we'll... And the first quarter in the books, second about to get underway. And what do you guys think about the Mercury here in this one? Really just the start they wanted to this game. Solid offense through one. Not a lot of stalls for them on the offensive end here. Cloud with it. She hasn't scored yet. That, I'm sure, will change. Copper outside. And she drops in the layup off the glass. Look at Copper attacking inside, not allowing the coverage to discourage her. Now Sykes. Pass to Melbourne. Down low. Sykes up top. Clock at four. Shoots over Allen. Sykes, no good. And so here's Phoenix. They lead by the biggest margin of the game, nine. To the inside. Well-timed pass and goes straight to the bucket for the layup. Fantastic touch from Copper there. You can see how locked in she is scoring inside. Pass to Dolson. Now Sykes. Here in the second quarter with a little over a minute of play. And it's blocked by Brittany Griner. And she recovers it. Back to Sykes. Second chance shot. Here's Dolson. Persistence pays Stephanie off Dolson. as they finally hit a shot. Another reason you want Dolson on your team. 
She can turn a missed basket into points. Tremendous effort on the boards. Sutton with the bucket. They've done good work with the ball. They've been uh, moving and getting quality chances. And their field goal percentage reflects that. They've been the much better team shooting the ball. And it's not just about shooting, Brian, as we were just mentioning. It's about moving, cutting, all the little things. Left side, Atkins. Pass to Dolson. From about 19 feet. And good. Stephanie Got the Dolson. friendly bounce off the yes, right yes. side of the rim. Ariel well, from Atkins. this far out, it's easy money for Dolson. A fantastic shooter for a five. She can even extend it out to three-point range. Here's Griner. Up and in for basket number four. And that makes her four for five. Not much the D can do once she gets to the bucket. Well, I know I speak on behalf of everyone around this game. We are so happy to have Brittany Griner back in the WNBA. Absolutely. It's great to see her out there. And the league did an incredible job of raising awareness about Brittany's situation. The players, they deserve so much credit to get her home. And it's just amazing to see her out there on the floor. They'd seen enough scoring in the paint and wanted to send a message to their team. Lock things up inside. Yeah, you're right, Tim. I guarantee you this talk centers around cutting down on all those points coming against them in the paint. And maybe it's more help. It's the front of player. They've got to try something. for six. Yeah, I've heard some say that Atkins has arrived ahead of schedule in this league, Then I would say that her refined and radiant mentality is pretty rare for players her age. Pass to Cloud. From past the arc. And it's Dolson with the rebound. Washington trailing. 19, 19. And here is Samuelson. Nine points in the game. It's Brittany Sykes on the wing. Austin. Off with the layup. If they could end every possession with that shot, they'd be happy because nine times out of ten, that's an easy layup. Good on the bucket. And sometimes this team relies on Griner to, to shoulder the load offensively. And guess what? She's more than happy to do her part, score the points. Here's Samuelson. She's covered by Cloud. Pass to Atkins. And here's Dolson. Pulls up. And she was fouled in the act of shooting an opportunity for a three-point play. A throwback style off guard. Sykes brings you defense and toughness, showing some grit on that and one. She'll be shooting her first free throw of the game. You know, twice now, Brittany Sykes has led the league in total steals. And that was in back-to-back -back seasons. Her defensive instincts are razor sharp, and she can put the cuffs on any offense. Loud outside. Back to Griner. That one's good, and so Natasha Cloud gets the assist. Keeping her eyes up and her options open. Natasha Cloud is surgical in her approach. 
Pass to Sykes. Puts up a three. Her fifth miss. Now two for seven from the floor. Now here's Cloud. Defense is right there. Can't get it to fall. Now here's Atkins. The second chance effort. And the official whistle a foul on the shot. Should've the bucket's seven. good, and she'll go first to the line. Foul, team's That one misses. You have to respect the determination that Shakira Austin brings to the court. She plays extremely hard and will not back down for any matchup. Here's Samuelson. Nine points in the game. Pass to Sykes. Hines Allen. Now Samuelson fires the three. Birch with the rebound. Copper with the ball. Austin picks her up. Copper with the ball. Austin's there. Great D that time from Shakira Austin. Here's Sykes. Oh, the swat by Sophie Cunningham. How about Cunningham? A block for the win. Now here's Austin. She's covered by Copper. Just five on the clock. Pass to Samuelson. Yes, and it's Shakira Austin picking up the assist. Coach has to be furious. Obviously, a defensive lapse there. She is automatic from deep. If, if you leave her wide open, big mistake. Now here's Cloud. Defense right on her. Birch guarded by Austin. Now Birch shoots over Austin, and it's Austin with the rebound. Here's Samuelson. She's covered by Cloud. Back to Atkins. Solid play on the low block, and that one is good. Muscling her way through. Don't you dare count Ariel Atkins out. Loud outside. On the wing, Kalia Copper. The floater. Off on the layup. And here is Samuelson. 12 points for her. Out of bounds. Out of Mystics bounds. ball as ball Washington keeps Washington. possession. She had no choice but to lunge for that pass to make sure it didn't get through. Yeah, and that was important because probably would have been a quick two points if she doesn't knock it out of bounds. So I love that effort level. Now here's Austin. Here's Richards. Austin inside. Mercury with the rebound. Tough D on the inside. Sure was. No easy access to the bucket when she's in the middle. It makes it so easy for your teammate when you can lead her to the rim with a pass like that. Pass to Heinz Allen. Here's Austin. Now here's Walker Kimbrough. She's covered by Cloud. Outside Atkins. Shoots over to Rossi. Here's Austin. And she battles for the ball and gets the second chance bucket. 
muscling her way in for the board. Austin using her instincts. Now here's Tarasi, defended by Atkins. Natasha Cloud from outside. No basket with that shot. Having trouble finding the range. She is one for five. Here's Richards. She's covered by Cunningham. Now Richards. Wyatt so far offensively searching for her first points of the game. And it's going to be out of bounds. A mystic will retain possession. Checking in for Washington. Jade Melbourne. Pass to Heinz Allen. Shot clock at six. Walker Kimbrough. She's covered by Tarasi. And the basket by Walker Kimbrough. Phoenix leading. Cloud with it. Up top to Rossi. Here's Birch. They shoot again. And Copper lays it in. What hustle from Copper there. I love when she throws herself on the glass and keeps plays alive. And here's Melbourne. And two for one opportunity here if they want it. And if I'm them, if I'm in their seats, if I'm on the on the bench in the game, I go for it. Pass to Austin. Richards. The shot, no good. Good work defensively by Sophie Cunningham. Rossi with it from outside the arc. Hits it from three-point range. I mean, if you're a defender, you have to know where Tarasi is at all times, especially when she's roaming around the perimeter. Here's Melbourne. Inside. It's stolen by Copper. Over Heinz Allen. And the Mercury tack on two more. Streaking down the floor. Copper put on the burners to complete that break. That'll do it for the first half. It's the Mercury. They're up by 10. And we'll see you right after halftime for the beginning of the third quarter. Copper really getting it done out there. She is such a dynamic scorer. That much we know. And her talent really was on full display in the first half. Yeah, look, there's no way around it. She's a hard player to keep down. And, and so far, they haven't found the answer for her. And there might not be one. The second half just about to get going here. And the Mercury with possession. Loud outside. Pass to Allen. For three. They get the rebound. And the basket by Copper. Persistence pays off for Copper inside. Getting past the contact and right to a look. Now here is Atkins. Austin. Sykes. She's covered by Allen. From about 19 feet, and it's good Ready, off the back of the rim and in. Perfect screen there. Set her up with a terrific look. Yeah, but that's a bad job by the defender to not fight through that screen to contest. You want to see more effort there. Back to Cloud. Pass to Copper. And she was fouled on the way up. Two free throws for her. 
Second person. Looking foul. back at the 2021 WNBA foul. Finals, Kalia Copper winning series MVP. I mean, you look at the names in that series. The Hall of Famers, Candace Parker, Tarazi, Skylar Diggins Smith, Vandersloot, and Copper stole the show. Tells you how clutch of a player she is. Two. And the first one drops. Well, the growth that Kalia Copper has shown over her career is remarkably incredible. She never stopped looking for ways to sharpen her skills. And all of that hard work, it's really paid off, guys. She hits both from the strike. And a minute played as the second half gets going. Pass to Sykes. Austin. Here's Atkins. Goes back up. Tries yet again. And it's Austin missing. Nice work there to contest the finish inside. Yeah, they got the shot they wanted, but her defense laid waste to those plans. Here's Diana Taurasi from the arc. Connects from three-point range. Well, she's the all-time leader in threes made in league history. Uh, you might not want to let Diana Taurasi get off shots from range. Samuelson's shot is off. And here's the fast break. Natasha Cloud from outside. The shot that time not on target. And Washington has possession. 15-point game. Sights, no good. One item that stood out is their ball movement. Things are definitely clicking, and more importantly, it's tough to defend. Pass to Allen. Fires from deep. And that comes off the assist by Natasha Cloud. That was simply a defensive breakdown there. She was all alone for that shot. I, I mean, that's like a warm-up jumper. Can they get it? And it's gonna be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. What I love about Ariel Atkins, she goes hard every single night. Yeah, it's really tough to outwork her on the court because she's so passionate about the game. And that rubs off on her teammates. Shooting two. And the first one at the line is good. Well, Ariel Atkins can do a lot for her team offensively, but she is also a very talented defender. She does a great job forcing turnovers and putting pressure on opposing shooters. And that's good as she hits both shots. And this could get even more out of hand if they continue to put up points. What a performance it's been. To the inside. Here's Greiner. Yes, once again for her on an excellent seven for eight shooting night so far. Just an incredible display of athleticism. Now, Griner's active on both ends of the floor, and her coaches appreciate that. Washington calls timeout.
third quarter here and three minutes have come off the clock. Pass to Dolson. Sykes. Clock at six. Now Samuelson. He's got 12. That one, Holy good Samuelson. for two. They have a really solid lead at this point. Definitely on the other side, really not much resistance put up. Pass to Tarasi. Reiner. Copper with the ball. Austin picks her up. Releases from 15. And the Mercury tech on two balls. Are you kidding me? Copper is shredding defenders with her handles. And here's Dolson. Here's Austin. She's off on that one. Excellent D there from Brittany Griner. Tarasi outside. Pass to Copper. Allen. Atkins grabs the board. A real defensive lapse there. She's not a player you can leave open for a jump shot. They're lucky she didn't punish him there. Let's go with a three. No luck on that one. Misfires again, and the ball simply refuses to cooperate with her. Diana Taurasi on the wing. Defended by Atkins. And the Mystics on the break. Here's Dolson. And another miss by Washington. Now here's Copper. 20 points for her. Sutton defended by Atkins. And here's Sutton. Unloads from 13 feet. Another shot. And so she earns a trip to the line. Uh, officials saw the contact, and she'll shoot two. Second Stephanie Dolson picks one up. I like how Griner uses her size to her advantage. It allows her to uh, attract contact and get to the foul line. Down the first one. She's perfect from the line this time. And Washington has possession. They really want to find that igniter here. That's right, their offense is ground to a standstill. Maybe you need to suit up, Tim. They need a spark. Washington calls timeout. Oh, the coach needs to get him back. He do a flow offensively. Things have slowed down. And they're starting kind of to, to force their shots. Yeah, things have snowballed on them here. You know, the misses just started piling up. I like this timeout to sort of calm down the team and get reset.
Walker Kimbrough. She's covered by Tarasi. Pass to Walker Kimbrough. Dolson. Just four to shoot. Now Melbourne. She's covered by Allen. Gee, Two no points. Way. That one goes in. Assistant. So much improvement Stephanie in terms Dolson. of passing the ball for Dolson. She came into the league at about an assist per game, and she has tripled that rate. Now here's Tarasi. The Mercury with another miss. She may have been surprised to find herself so open. I mean, maybe that's why she missed. Here's Walker Kimbrough. The rebound by Brittany Griner. And they're in complete control. Everything they're doing, it's been working out. Wow. Allen covered by Walker Kimbrough. Pass to Allen. And Al Griner. And there's the three-second violation. The ball goes to Washington. The Mystics making a switch here. From Washington, Shakira Austin. Here's Melbourne. Here's Walker Kimbrough. She's covered by Tarasi. Over to the left wing. Here's Richards. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. That's a great job, really, to, to angle her body, shield the bigger player from the ball on her way to the basket. And you have to know how to finish like that if you're going to take it down low. And she's shown all the capabilities of doing so. That is exactly why you don't leave your feet until the shooter elevates. She went for that pump fake hook, line, and sinker. Pass to Walker Kimbrough. Six to shoot. Austin with it. She's guarded by Griner. It's Melbourne. From outside, off the mark. Rossi outside. And out oh, hard that time. Change. You get two shots at the line. First well, things change year to year in the WNBA. You know what doesn't? Diana Taurasi's dominance. Her consistency, her longevity, it's just amazing. And her sharpness as a player has not diminished at all. Game after game, she's still knocking them down all game long. Two shots. First free throw is good. You'd be hard-pressed to find a more self-motivated player than Diana Tarazi. For all she's achieved in the game, she never stops improving. And good on both. Walker Kimbrough with it. Pass to Dolson. Birch with the rebound. Tarasi outside. Birch. The basket good off the assist from Diana Tarasi. Sharp pass to set up a very high percentage shot in close. Here's Richards. She's covered by Tarasi. To the paint. Here's Walker Kimbrough. Up Shakira and in on Walker the layup. Kimbrough. Nice dish from Austin. What a team player. Shakira Austin. And the Mercury with possession. Here's Cloud. And here's Diana Tarasi from the arc. And it goes for the fifth time and 10 shots for her this game. And they are just killing them with the three-point shot here in the second half. Yeah, and the defense knows it. They are fully stretched out there trying to stop the three and still haven't been able to do yeah, it. Yeah, I don't know defensively what they can do different at this point. And it's Atkins missing. She's having all sorts of problems with her shots. 
Yeah, the words ice and cold come to mind with the way she's shooting the ball. Rossi outside, unloads, and there's another one for the Mercury. Plays with a high level of intensity, but remains level-headed. Tarasi is the ultimate scorer. Here's Richards. She's covered by Tarasi. That shot missing. Excellent D there from Brittany Griner. For three. And it's Dolson with the rebound. And shot clock and game clock separated by less than six seconds. Pass to Walker Kimbrough. And here's Richards. Shot clock at five. From down in the low post, Shakira it Austin. goes. You know, she's not going to force anything on offense. Austin plays within the flow of the game, takes smart shots. High post try. And the miss. That's the at the end, end of the third quarter, the a huge North lead, Phoenix, and this one may already have been decided. Mercury out in front, opening a huge gap. And time for a short break. Stay right where you are. The fourth quarter is coming up next. Welcome back, fourth quarter of action starting up in what has been a one-side show. The Mystics on offense. Now Samuelson takes the three, and Brittany Sykes gets the three. It's fun to watch. Each year she plays in the league, Sykes' jumper gets better, and she gets more confident in it, too. Outside Cunningham. Pass to Cloud. Copper with the ball. Working on Dolson. Outside Cunningham. Clock at six. From deep. Drains it from beyond the arc. How about that for a response? We'll give you a three, and then we'll take it right back. It's turning into a three-point contest. Pass to Sykes. Shoots the three. Cloud pulls it in. And so here's Phoenix. Tarasi right side. Down low. Copper. It's good. And she threw the contact on the shot. So she'll go to the line. Three-point play opportunity. A few possessions into the fourth quarter, just over one minute played. Here's Sykes. And the shot goes in. Once inside, Sykes commits to the play. She'll work around contact if she has to. Now here's Tarasi. D right on her. Beyond the arc. And Allen gets it to go. And their shooting percentage continues to climb in the second half. Well, as a group, they've been in total sync since the break. A good team basketball, and it's resulted in high-quality shots. Very good adjustments at the half. It's Brittany Sykes on the wing. Back to Austin. Shot clock at six. Two minutes into the fourth quarter now. Got her with the pump fake, just couldn't finish. Second shot opportunity. 
And the basket by Copper. You just love to see Copper turn on the Jets. When she's this hot, she wants the ball every time, and she deserves it every time. Here's Melbourne. She's covered by Cloud. Here's Austin. It's rebounded by Phoenix. Well, you love the tough D, especially inside. And that's exactly what she gives you, Tim. Constantly making her presence felt around the rim. Here's Melbourne. She's covered by Cloud. Sykes, no good. Pass to Cloud. Yes, and a nice assist from Diana Taras. Crazy, just so crafty from the foul line down. Cloud makes up for a lack of size with Savvy. Here's Sykes. Banksler, she's covered by Allen. Shot to stop the run. Banksler, no good. Terrific D. That's how to protect the rim. Cloud left side. Back to Tarasi. That one off the back iron and out. And they're looking for some kind of spark here. Yeah, cold stretch offensively. They need a bucket. Yep, that goes. Showing some serious strength. Sykes isn't afraid to go at defenders and draw contact. Now here's Cloud. Tarasi outside. Pass to Allen. Shoots over Anxler. Allen's shot is off. Here's Melbourne. She's covered by Cloud. Now Heinz Allen. Tries again. And the layup is good. Aisha, Simply Allen. ferocious on the O-board. You have to box out Heinz Allen. She is a big-time hustler and a big-time player on the boards. Allen's shot is off. Here's Melbourne. She's covered by Cloud. Pass to Austin. Birch with the rebound. Yeah, and ever since halftime, she's been ice cold. Very little going her way out there. Now here's Tarasi. She's guarded closely. Here's Allen, covered by Heinz Allen. Allen with it. Heinz Allen's there. And Allen gets it to go. The Mystics on offense. Sykes outside. To the middle. Here's Austin. Burge with the rebound. Pass to Cloud. To the inside. Anxler with the steal. And pushing it up, here's Washington. So she gets the whistle. Contact on the way up. Two shots next. First personal foul, teams. Well, you don't always see guards that want to bring it down low. Sykes doesn't take a lot of threes because she'd rather pound the rock inside. Shooting two. The first free throw is good. Whether she's in the starting lineup or coming off the bench, Brittany Sykes does whatever the team needs. She's a solid rotational piece for them. Both shots good from the stripe. Since being instituted in 2021, the Commissioner's Cup has added a second trophy to the WNBA season. And I really have enjoyed it. A single game final that adds some spice to the regular season. Of course, Las Vegas, the first team to do the double, win the Cup, and the WNBA Finals back in 2022. That bonus money sure has been great for players as well. I just think it's been a huge win all around. And here's Richards. Pass to Melbourne. Launches a three. 
drops in the tray. Jade, no perfect boy. screen there. Three Set points. her up with a terrific look. Yeah, but that's a bad job by the defender to not fight through that screen to contest. You want to see more effort there. Allen, she's guarded by Sykes. Out to the wing. Here's Sutton. Now here's Allen. She's guarded by Sykes. Four on the clock. The Mercury with another miss. The Mystics on offense. Now Melbourne. Pass to Richards. Right side, Heinz Allen. Good on the 13th footer. I know it's getting late, guys, but there's hope for them now. When really, a little while ago, it looked like all hope was lost. I just wonder if maybe they left it until too late. They finally started to make things happen, but at this point, they need to be just about perfect the rest of the way. But at least they've given themselves a shot. Cans it from downtown. A premier passer. Cloud racks up an assist. Really puts her teammates in great positions to score. And here's Melbourne. Sykes outside. Heinz Allen. The rebound by Brittany Griner. Here's Sutton. Pass to Allen. Now here's Griner. Loud outside. Back to Griner. Shoots over Austin. And it goes as the official calls the foul. GG Count it. And she'll shoot one more first at the line. First personal foul. Teams first. Now Melbourne. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. Pass to Richards. Now here's Heinz Allen. Walker Kimbrough with it. The basket First drops and she gets fouled on the shot. One free throw First coming up for her. Give an assist there, uh, not for a pass, but for the solid screen set on the inside that freed her up and really just made that layup possible. Mind the lanes. Mind the lanes. One shot. And they're making this a runaway. Yeah, the only question here for us to follow is how big uh, the lead will eventually become. The second chance effort, and the layup is up and in. What a shot by Copper. The degree of difficulty, very high. Outside, Heinz Allen. Pass to Austin. And here's Walker Kimbrough. Shot clock at three. That one rolling around and rims out. Phoenix with the ball. Now Sutton. Allen with it. Now Griner, guarded by Austin. Side. Austin's there. Reiner shots good. This is a serious game clinching run they're on. They are just not backing off. Then they're going to close this one out in style. What a surge. Give them credit just to, to finish this one off. 
Pass to Richards. Shoots over Allen. Richards with the bucket. She has G -G some impressive Richards. moves in her collection. That's a good one, but really, it's one of many. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Copper outside. Takes it to the teeth of the D and converts the layup. So it's Washington now. And here's Melbourne. Pass to Richards. Here's Austin. She's guarded by Griner. Here's Richards. Yes, and it's Shakira Austin G -G picking Richards. up the assist. But whenever your big is passing the rock like Austin, it's a great sign for your squad's ball movement. And so it's Phoenix easily grabbing this one. This game may not have been the most exciting we've ever seen, but you just have to appreciate just what a clinical performance they put on. I know their fans appreciated it. We saw the excellent defense, a potent offensive effort, and they were pretty much dominant. And that's a wrap, everyone.